Hey guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Help on Facebook. I had a couple questions um, these past few days about how to create either outlines with just a line or how to do outlines in rhinestones. So we're going to uh, take a look here. First, you want to, of course, type out what you need, then go to the effects and bring up the shadow layer. I have mine set to zero so that I can choose what I want. Now, when I click this up, this first layer that shows up is going to be what the actual space is going to be between my word or my shape, my image, and what the actual line is going to be, the outline, or what the rhinestone is going to be. Okay, so that's not really a big enough space. Mm, that could work. Uh, that's a pretty big one. Let's back it down. Let's do two. Okay, so this is actually nothing right now. This is going to be the air or the space between. So my second layer, so this darker one, is actually going to be the line or the first rhinestone pattern. If I do another one, this is going to be another space that will be another one okay so I will always need an even number for my line and my rhinestone work okay so you will always need an even number so let's click OK and wait for it to work come on okay so let's move this to the side we gotta come in here object on group now, I can usually come in here, because we're going to need to just pull out the first two, okay? These first two right here is what we're going to need to do a back minus front on, because remember, this is the top one, then this light gray one is the space, so we don't need that, but we do need to trim that out so we get the first line. So let's try that. Back minus front. Cool. Okay. So now let's see. Yes. Do you see what I mean? So there's the line. So let's get rid of this malarkey. Now let's do this one. Because again, this big gray piece is the free air space and this dark piece is the other line back minus front or you could do an exclude whatever the back minus front works the best though because that gets rid of everything so let's bring all this back over here and then just highlight it all and come over and click those that now gives you everything. So here's your word. Here's the first outline and the second outline. So if you only wanted one outline to your word, there it is. So now let's say you want to do rhinestones. Let's come over and get your rhinestones. Let's do an SS10 because that's usually the most common one. We'll do a circle. Oh, come on. We'll do a fill with shape. Let's preview it. There you go. Ooh, that's kind of hard to read. So let's cancel this. Let's make it a little bigger. And see if that helps with the way it looks. Come over here. Let's grab our SS10. It's hiding down there. Come on. Fill with shape. Preview. Ah, that's much better. So that's how that one looks. Okay, cancel. Undo it. Let's line it up with these. Okay, put them both together. Now let's try the rhinestone effect. 
Oops, blew past it. Okay, so that's what that'll look like. If you do not like the way this looks, what can you do to change that? Well, what you can do is when you come in here to your shadow layer, if you do not like the way this looks because it's too close or what have you, the font is wrong. Change the font. When you come in and you do this, change the space. That will make this space in here wider. Okay? So if you want something to look different, so let's cancel this. Let's move this one out of the way. So this one. So if you want it to look a little bit different, you're going to increase this number right here. That will increase the space. Okay, so then one, two, three, four. Wait for it to work. Okay, pull that down. Make sure you ungroup this so you won't be able to get anywhere with it. those two back minus front back minus front see what that did for us. Much better. So that really increased the readability by just increasing that little number. Okay? So that's how you go about doing that um, in Shortcuts a lot. Alright? If you have any questions, find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Hub on Facebook. Thanks, guys.